the beautiful angel is Josie Grouse and welcome to Soul Awakening channel. You are here to receive messages from angels about this upcoming full moon, super moon, August 19th. Angels are here. They want you to know what is about to happen. We are here. We are guided. We are prepared. So let's connect and call upon our guides, our spirit protectors to be with us for this session and using my angel oracle cards i'm going to channel to you five specific things that you need to know look if you are watching this video if you happen to find this video anywhere which means that angels want you to hear these messages they are relevant for you so let's begin super month this august 19th full moon remember it's always about intensity things coming together and also intensifying intensifying energies from within also seeing the world becoming a little bit more dynamic sometimes hectic this is the full moon situation so five messages that you need to know five messages about this upcoming full moon first be gentle with yourself angels want you to be gentle okay don't rush things pause pause before speaking and also take a moment to step back and say you know is this really necessary think about what is important and what is not and being gentle with yourself sometimes means to set boundaries that's not important. This is important. Maybe this month you need to take care of yourself. Maybe you need to take care of your health. Maybe you need to take care of your soul, of your spirit. That means that you will have to say no to certain things. You have to say no to certain people. But you also have to be so gentle with yourself. That's the message. That's where they want you to go. Do not push. Do not force anything, any event. Any circumstance in your environment is simply there. Just observe it uh, and remember that a gentle way is the way to go. Overcoming resistance, overcoming pressure, overcoming the need to act, saying, I'm just going to be gentle with myself today. Okay, that's what they want you to do. Gentle, being gentle with yourself. Remind yourself, I'm just going to be gentle today with myself. I'm going to be so gentle <laughs> and that's where angels want to heal you. Okay. A fresh new start. New energies are about to begin. We are now, what is it? August, right? We are very much moving towards changing, right? So we have uh, seasonal changes. We also have energetic changes. Rhythms are changing. And you will notice that seasons are also changing within yourself. Old things would not work as well. Old programs, old maybe career path or place where you felt so comfortable and sure these old ways will not work as well. These ways will not work as well. So remember that fresh new start is going to give you an opportunity to bring some new energy into your life. But to bring new energy into your life, you have to clear out some of the old energies. So watch what's not working. Really be mindful of old ways of doing things, old ways of being. They just they aren't working anymore. It's a new world you are entering new world and in order for you to be relevant to be open to this new energy think about what can you learn where can you grow what can you discover something new something maybe upgrade your computer upgrade your phone do something to attract some new energy which is your opportunity when you attract when you connect with new energy you are signaling to life i'm still here i'm still in the game old things means past old things are no longer working 
life is not interested in keeping the old things you know in order life always wants to grow and expand so think about yourself as well fresh new start is your opportunity to expand allow something new to come to be sort of downloaded into your consciousness new information maybe new style change something change your hairstyle color your hair a different color uh, wear red lipsticks you know things like that just be creative be mindful but also fresh new start allow yourself to be different so new energy comes in so life notices you life sees you as a channel of new energy so that's where you will get a lot of benefits and a lot of really uh important blessings in the upcoming decade so new energy help from your guardian angel a help from your guardian angel this month is for you to reconnect with your destiny to remember why you are here every time a guardian angel appears for you which means that you will have an opportunity to create a vision for your future and this vision for your future is is already there it, it is formed but for you to go there you need to spend a little bit of time discovering who you are what are your talents what are your gifts life is not going to present to you your destiny on the silver plate it won't happen you need to go and discover it you need to focus on your life's purpose you need to be loud about wanting to be to live your authentic path because if you don't the structures of the world are going to consume you you'll forget who you are very easily you'll forget why you're here you'll go just day after day same things nothing changes or it's like just to get by just to feel good just to be okay and slowly with time your destiny kind of fades away your talents you forget about your talents your special gifts you forget about your special gifts so when your guardian angel appears to you it's it's a reminder and it's an intuitive nudge for you to remember why you are here on this planet and maybe now you're going through a spiritual kind of crisis a spiritual crisis is the crisis of the crisis of meanings i just don't know why i'm here i don't have any meaning to this life it's purposeless i feel like all i do is just to survive this is your call your guardian angel remind you that you have a destiny and you need to remember what it is you need to be proactive to discover that life purpose what is it so this month you will be reminded about your life's purpose so pay attention your dreams watching signs what signs will appear and what messages are coming through like videos like these would be a, a way for you to receive some guidance about your life's purpose but in any way angels are always communicating with you they, they are speaking with you they're they're speaking with you they're talking to you they they want you to be awakened in some way and when you fall asleep there's nothing they can do they cannot just shake you up and say you know awaken you you're still here on this planet there's still time but you have work to do you have things to discover you have things to create in this life so they will have to awaken you one way or another and you'll have a lot of these signs these messages coming through for you in august especially around the full moon the full moon is a portal remember that portals are opportunities the doors are open and these are channels through which information flows and information flows to those who are on the other on the other end of receiving so when you are open you're receiving something when your body is all closed off and all you have to and all you think about is just to you know your day-to-day -day problems you aren't contemplating your spiritual purpose but that's what the problem is because 
life itself will become so burdensome and heavy and all things on this planet will begin to seize their importance because the spiritual channel is closed you you, you aren't connecting anymore so full moon is is a portal and you will have many different opportunities to receive some some spiritual kind of information what angels are telling us is that if there is any problem that you have in the physical world whether you're living in pain for example right experiencing pain loss of direction loss of meaning maybe struggling with addictions having difficulties finding yourself in this world it's it's not the mental health crisis it's the spiritual crisis it's the crisis of, of your spirit it's being disconnected from the spirit and not knowing what to do it's just like you aren't meant to figure things out all on your own so what we do what angels want us to do they want us to reconnect with our source they want us to reconnect with the source of light and purpose so if you don't know what to do, if you are truly struggling, what angels are asking you, you need to go forward and discover your purpose. Go get it, go, go find it, go discover it again. So for that, you need to engage yourself in learning, meditation, service, meaningful things not about you anymore this life is not about you so then you will have to find your purpose because other people are going to show you your purpose your needs what people need from you that's where your purpose lies and if you if you follow that if you are now if you want to go down that path of discovering angels are always there to help you but remember it's not your purpose is about your connection with the world and how the world is connected with you and how the world receives you and how you receive the world. That's, that's where a lot of guidance will come for you in August. So nine, two, three, fourth, fourth message for you from angel, something the angels want you to know. Help from Archangel Michael. Wow, this is really powerful. So Michael is there with you. Archangel Michael is there with you, one. Michael also helps with life purpose. Archangel Michael, is, is he's the universal uh, spirit of protection, of guidance. And his energy is all about understanding it's all about wisdom and it's about taking charge of your life not to be a sort of a victim of your circumstances not to be sort of damaged by your past the power of archangel michael is to awaken the spirit within you it's awakened that power within you that's going to overcome any challenge any difficulty this is the power of your spirit when the mind breaks when your heart breaks when everything else on this planet fails your spirit is that is that strength the eternal strength of you as eternal being is going to be awakened that's why Many times you need to go all the way down to the rocky bottom. So your spirit awakens. And this awakening of your spirit is going to pull you out of any, any difficulty, any challenge, any hole where you ended up. So this Archangel, Archangel Michael, his energy is awakening your spirit. And you know, the, the spirit is the strength of the spirit is that superpower that you have i remember if a mother sees her child somehow a danger let's say being sort of trapped in in the vehicle she can lift the whole vehicle up so that's the power of the spirit that's the power of the soul just like over just giving yourself such a boost of supernatural strength and wisdom so remember that you have that in moments when nothing else works you need to go to 
to your angels you need to go to your spirit you need to go to your soul your eternal source of wisdom and from there and start there okay release everything you know release your worldly concerns for a little while and go to the source go to the source of your spirit go to the source of your guidance your protection and then watch what's going to happen because angels are ready to help you so archangel michael is there with you helping you and guiding you this month so it's going to be a very very strong month it's the month of your destiny as a matter of fact this month according to the messages that are coming through will be the month where you will have to face your destiny one way or another that's a good that's a good thing and not be the easy thing but it's a good thing okay so in final message for you heal yourself with crystals heal yourself with crystals so remember message number one was be gentle with yourself be gentle with yourself which means that you are no longer identifying yourself based on what's going on in the world if you're trying to keep up with this insanity the fast paced downloads of information crazy changes that are happening so fast you will end up compromising your health all right your nervous system your nervous system is going to be shocked it's like i can't deal with that anymore it's just too much pressure it's, it's just too much information information the even information you're listening the quality of this information can be also overwhelming and damaging so remember that being gentle with yourself means to remove yourself from the sources of stress from the sources of sort of paralytic downloads of information that keep you kind of keep your body running constantly all the time you worry about politics you know all of these these news are all happening you're getting engaged in in the dramas of your life this month they're asking you this is not the time to be involved anywhere in the active way why because the um, the amount of information that is being downloaded upon earth is not for human beings to process who can't we don't even have that processor yet we will build all of these capacities but at a later time for all of us now just to be able to be mindful of what kind of information and how we receive information what kind of source the quality of information is this helping us is this information serving us is this information help us to evolve uh, on the level of our spirit or is, uh, this information is helping the spiritual being that i am or it's just nonsense that happens all the time somewhere someplace and being part of the world being part of the conversation um maybe this time around for you is to be able to step back and say you know what i'm just gonna take a back seat and i'm going to be mindful and gentle with myself healing yourself healing comes with a decision a decision to put yourself first a decision to put yourself as a priority a decision to set boundaries and say this is me now so this is who I am now, letting the world know your boundaries, your space, and being also mindful of other people around you. Everybody's going through their own path and transition. If you feel like your loved ones aren't most, you know, aren't happy or as happy as you want them to be, maybe they're dealing with their own uh, situations, just to be able not to be judgmental of anyone going through this time but also being able to understand that every person is on his or her own path every person have their own ways of dealing with stress and situations it may have nothing to do with you but you're not going to absorb other people's problems you are not going to be judgmental this person is not treating me right you aren't going to be just giving your energy away you understand let people be whoever they choose to be this month i'm just gonna be chilling <laughs> and healing myself with crystals by the way if you have a favorite crystal if you have a, a crystal that is very healing for you 
Carry this crystal with you. Carry it in your pocket or maybe place it in your wallet, some place where you can when you can remember about it. And this crystal is going to have some psychic downloads and magical powers for you. If you need healing, remember, oh, I have this crystal. I have a crystal, put it in your hand, hold it to your heart, speak with your crystal, and magical things will begin to happen. All right, you guys, here you go. Five messages for you for this upcoming full moon. August 19th, going to be super moon. And every super moon brings super opportunities, super powers. I love you guys. Be well and blessed. I'll chat with you in the next video.